Hi there, Stan, the Annuity Man, America's Annuity Agent, licensed in all 50 states. I'm getting ready to use props. I love props. Props on a video. It's gold. It's gold is what it is. Will do, not might do. Let's do it again. Will do, not might do. Will do, not might do studios, right? Let me throw this over my shoulder cavalierly. That's where we're at. You own an annuity for what it will do, not what it might do and the will do are the contractual guarantees. Today, we're gonna to talk about cost of living adjustment riders, both on with income riders and on products like immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, et cetera, um, because inflation is this, what about inflation, Stan? What about inflation, Stan? Hey, Stan, what about inflation? Stan, inflation, inflation, Stan, inflation. It's like, huh, huh, it's coming. I, I mean, but listen, with annuities, these are contracts. It's an easy, simple solution what I encourage you to do is just don't listen to the sales pitches. Listen to the facts, which we're getting ready to do after I hear music. All right, so let's talk about inflation with these income riders attached to typically indexed annuities. Because if you're going to the bad chicken dinner seminars and now we're kind of getting out of COVID, one good thing about COVID, if there, was, there was only one good thing. Okay. And the one good thing about COVID was that the bad chicken dinner seminar and the steak dinner seminar for you to go and listen to the sales pitch while eating the meal, those, those went away during COVID. That was fantastic. But now that COVID is somewhat lifting a little bit, guess what? These things are back. And what people are calling me about is they're saying, well, I went to this bad chicken dinner seminar. Actually, it was a steak dinner seminar, which should give you kind of the... Uh, um, oh, by the way, what is the commission being paid? If they're if you're eating at a fifty dollar a, uh, a head steakhouse, guess what? I mean, this person's going to make a lot of money if they sell you this annuity. It doesn't make it bad. It just is what it is. But the sales pitch goes something like this: If you sign the contract, Mr. Jones, you're going to get an upfront bonus, and the in income from this index annuity is going to increase with inflation. Sounds good. Hey, I've got one for you. I've got a pill, and if you take it, you're going to have six-pack abs and be cut up. You're going to look like an Olympian. Uh, no, same thing. Let's go backwards a little bit. You're going to get an upfront bonus for signing the... If someone ever says that, upfront bonuses with annuities is candy for the stupid. You can't be that dumb. There's not a philanthropist that gets up at an annuity company and goes, you know what? <sighs> I think I'm going to give money away today to just random people across the country. No, no one's like that. It's 100 pennies in the dollar. Upfront bonus is just part of the overall contractual guarantee, but let's get to the, to the really sizzle part of the sale. I always tell people, buy the steak, not the sizzle, right? The sizzle is um, the income from this index annuity is gonna increase with inflation. Huh? Uh, no, sounds good to be true because it is. What they're pitching is an index annuity at the index option, which by the way, was put on the planet to create normal CD type returns, not market returns. All right. They said, well, whatever you get on this side is going to increase the income on the income rider side. Okay. But guess what? Spoiler alert. The annuity company severely, drastically lowers the initial payment to make up for that um, potential hypothetical theoretical unicorns chasing the butterflies increase. So don't fall for that. All right. That, that's the income rider pitch. And remember, an income rider is an attached benefit to a policy, typically an indexed annuity that you're going to be pitched, that is a separate calculation for future income. It's monopoly money and a phantom account that you can only use to calculate your first lifetime income payment that will be in place for the rest of your life. And what they're saying in the sales pitch is that, yes, it's going to turn on this level, but that index option, Mr. Jones, is going to increase it. And you're going to be rich, and it's going to be the best decision you've ever made. Uh, no, it's not. Um, annuity companies don't give anything away. I'm not saying it's bad, but you have to understand that it's going to be a, say, 20, 30 percent, depending on your age, decrease in the initial payment as compared to the income rider that doesn't have this hypothetical unicorn chasing the butterfly increase. All right? So with income riders, my opinion, Stan the Annuity Man, America's Annuity Agent, licensed in all 50 states, the top agent out here, written seven books, done 400 videos, and do podcasts every week. You buy the income rider for the highest contractual guarantee, shopping all carriers. 
for the highest contractual guarantee for your specific situation. We will do that. You can go to my site at theannuityman.com and do that yourself on the Income Rider Calculator page. Okay? They're commodity products. There's not one that's better than the other. Uh, sorry about that, all the carriers that I love. Um, they're not. It's, you buy income riders like you buy a plane ticket. You punch in on theannuityman.com, your specifics, what, when you want the income to start, dates of birth, all that stuff that's confidential, and then we shop all carriers for the highest contractual guarantee. So that's covering cost of living adjustment riders with income riders. But cost of living adjustment increases, COLA increases, with immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts. Let's categorize those in annuitization products. Those are lifetime income products. You can attach a cost of living adjustment rider, and you can, at the time of act application, say, you know what, Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent, I want it to increase by 3%. I want my immediate annuity to increase by 3%. Fantastic. We can run it that way, but remember this. Madonna, Vogue, remember that? Remember that for all you baby boomers? Without the cola, with the cola. Without the cola, with the cola. With the cola, without the cola. Got me? They're going to lower the payment to make up for that increase. Now, back in the day, a few years back, and the annuity man's been here for a long, long time, I got cowboy boots older than most of your kids. I mean, most, and there's some kids out there watching. We're finding out the demographic's kind of weird. Hey, you youngsters out there. Um, cost of living adjustment riders are the only increase for inflation that you can attach at this point in time. Back in the day, they had consumer price index for urban consumers, CPIU. You could buy those for immediate annuities, and they had some calculation and all this stuff, and people thought they were being fancy for the increase. They don't offer those anymore. At the time of this tape, and check the date out, CPIU increases are not attached to, you can't get those with immediate annuities anymore. You can only get this COLAs, cost of living adjustment, and you have to, to um, choose the percentage increase at the time of application. Here's a simple one for you. It, the 1% increase will have a higher contractual guarantee than the 3% increase. The 3% increase will have a higher contractual guarantee than the 5% increase. See that? See how annuity companies have the big buildings? They're not giving anything away. What I would tell you to do is if that's very important to you, and by the way, you already own the best inflation annuity on the planet. What's it called, Stan the Annuity Man? I didn't know I own one. It's called Social Security, okay? You already own it, so don't be an annuity hypocrite and say you hate all annuities because you already own one. And if you really hate and you're going to pound the table and say, I hate all annuities, then call Social Security and say, do not send me those payments anymore because I do, I want, I do not want to be an annuity hypocrite. But you're not going to do that because you like lifetime income stream because lifetime income stream is good, okay? But cost of living adjustment riders, I would encourage you to say buy one with and buy one without if you're going to buy two. If that's very important to you, but you already have the best, in, the best inflation new in the planet, what I would do is maximize the payment and just have it static. Now, I know all you geniuses out there, well, Dan, you know, the cost of living and the, the buying capabilities of that income stream is going to lessen with the inflation. Blah, 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 blah. I understand it. Been there, done that. Took the class with you, okay? But there's no perfect solution. It's just bad sales pitches. And the best way to truly address inflation, in my opinion, is at the time you need that income gap filled. For example, you're getting $3,000 a month. All of a sudden, you and Martha need an additional $500 a month. We buy an immediate annuity at that time, reverse engineer the quote to solve for that $500. You can go to my site at theannuityman.com and run a reverse engineer quote on an immediate annuity to see how that works. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion. The other way is to have income starting at different time periods. Say you're 65, you have income starting at 70, 72, 75, 77, 80. You could have it staggered so that income is coming and starting at a different age, age level because the older you are, the higher the payment, just like Social Security. So there's no perfect answers for inflation. I know that you want one. I know that you were dying and hoping that this would be the place that you could finally find out that there was an annuity out there that could address inflation properly and the one you heard at the Bad Chicken Dinner Seminar, that sales pitch was true. Sorry, brutally factual, telling the truth out here, it is what it is. But you can use annuities and some specific annuity types to address inflation. Hey, I really appreciate you joining me and I will see you on the next Stan the Annuity Man YouTube video. Yeah.